Hey guys, Vanya here with RC Alley. I'm here with uh, Eric Fletcher, Techno Team Manager again, and today he's gonna unbox a brand new EB410 that he's building uh, for 13.5 spec glass. Let's get started. All right, here we go. Brand new EB410. And we'll go ahead and cut the seals on it. Got a brand new factory sealed box. So, as we open it up, we can see inside we have a wing bag, some uh, wing mounts, and then the body. Going to open up, we have two basic bags that are going to be set in there. And then as we keep digging through, the uh, aluminum chassis plate that we have, a bag of oils to use, and then of course down here in the very bottom, the um, manual and decals and window masks. So let's set this out of the way. As we go through the first set of bags, we're going to have lots of different things here. So, going to have your uh, center diff that's going to be set up for the mod. It's going to have the uh, 81 tooth pinion in, in it. Um, front and rear differentials. The uh, This would be, I believe, the front end. Yes, this would be the front end with the reverse bell crank steering in it. Um, rear shock tower, and you can tell that this is the uh, uh, real thick plastic shock towers that we do have. Uh, bag E would be uh, front arms, front suspension can pieces. Get all that lined up. Uh, F, front, um, sorry, rear. Rear uh, hubs that we have set up for those, and rear axles so you can get the drive line in the back of that. Sorry. Then we have the front arms, front suspension mounts. Go into the second bag. Go. Oh, bags and bags and bags. Uh, front shock tower, again, the big heavy plastic one. That's not heavy, but the big plastic uh, thick one that we do have, all the fronts. Uh, steering knuckles and uh, carriers. Um, center diff mount. Going to have the aluminum front plate and the, the slide that we do have for the uh, um, motor there. Also all the drive shafts for the center of the car, the braces and front bumper on that. Um, then we're going to go to, I believe these are the front shocks and then rear shocks. And what else are we get into over here? This will be um, anything to use in the radio tray itself. So uh, this has the uh, low profile and um, standard mount in it. So you can use a low profile servo or a standard servo in that. The uh, upper chassis brace and bo uh, front body mount. Oh, sorry. This has got the bag O has got the optional um, low profile servo mount in it. This also has the shims to allow you to shim up and shim down the uh, rear differential in it. And then obviously, last but not least, the uh, aluminum chassis that we do use for this car. So that is a basic unboxing of everything that came in the car. Um, in my car, I am running it in the mod class with a 6.5. Uh, it's a Team Scream 6.5. I'm running a Tekken um, RSX speed controller in it. Um, the car is basically um, has all the upgrades from Techno on it. We do have the front uh, carbon shock tower, the front carbon top plate, center diff plate, um, the, the battery tray strap. Do have the uh, a low profile servo inside the car right here. It's an OMG servo uh, from Houston's Engine Service. Um, the car itself, uh, setup wise, is pretty similar to stock. The pi shock pistons are the same. I am currently running um, 550, 525 in the car. The uh, front geometries are pretty close to what the stock is. The rear, I am running the pl uh, plus two shock tower in the rear to get more droop out of the car um, for our, our indoor track that we currently have. Um, otherwise, I'm running uh, 12, and a half, or 12, 15, seven shock oils in here. Uh, ride height currently is set at uh, 
20 and 21. So car's been handling real great on the racetrack. Um, not having any issues with any breakages or anything like that. Um, able to run consistently in the A main with it and uh, up front with it. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.